Every time that we open our eyes and looking out to the world, we see a world that is full of options, full of, of offerings, full of uh, potential pleasures, and as well in the same time, uh, potential risks, difficulties, challenges. Now, the world around us is uh, built with billions and billions of details that are all dividing the reality into sections, limiting and creating departments, different measures, weights, colors, senses, everything is different. Everything is, uh, is uh, divided and separated from the rest. But when the person is able to close his eyes and to breathe a little bit, in front of him there is great unity that comes from within. That is the unity of the soul, of the spirit. And the spirit that is inner, inside our own bodies, is also inner to all the rest of the bodies and all the rest of the objects that surrounds us in this world. Now the connection is inner. The connection between all the books and all the people, all the animals and all this, the, the, the flowers, the plants, all the particles of creation, they're all connected from within, like a great, great um, spider web back end that is connecting with branches, all the life forms um, into great united tree of life. And when a person is focusing to the outside world, then he will never be able to grasp the whole picture because it's so gigantic, so complex, so complicated that no one can really comprehend and put it all into one box of unity. But when the person spends some time with his eyes closed, connecting himself with his faith to the Almighty, to the Creator, understands that the live spirit of creation is one and that the Creator is giving life to all, then he can understand a little bit of the greatness of the Creator, how much love and how much life and how much um, pleasure and how many forces and, and amazing, amazing treasures He's sending through those branches into our souls for us to be able to enjoy from in this world and for us to be able to share with our loved ones, with our surroundings. Now, the blessing is that every person is an individual that is able in the same time to, that he's doing something good to share that goodness with other people for them to be inspired from your great work to find their own inner way how to connect themselves to their soul, to their source, to their source of life, to their soul, through their soul to Hashem, to the creator of the universe. So when you want really to correct someone else, to go and teach him or rebuke him or tell him will never complete the job because for him it will be another external part of the creation that is surrounding him. Like we explained earlier about ourselves that we are surrounded by objects that are all separated from the unity of all the rest of the parts that surrounds us. But when you will show him that you yourself connect yourself from within to your soul, through your soul to the Creator himself, by doing that, you will be a role model, a live example for him, how to find his own access through his soul to the general soul, to Hashem, to the Creator Himself. And that is the greatest mission of them all. 
When you want to help another person, you should correct yourself. You should show the world that you are an inner person, that you are a spiritual person, not to show off, to live life of faith, to live life of trust, to live life of prayer, life of emuna, and to express that in any possible opportunity to talk honest conversations with your friends, to express your trust or your faith and not to be ashamed of your belief in front of your loved ones, in front of your surroundings, to be brave and to offer the real true guiding of connecting yourself to your soul from within. And when we will do that, many, many around us will want to learn from us and will be inspired from our talks and will never be rejected from our simple conversations. When you come and teach someone else how to correct his own life, immediately he will feel rejected. But when you share about your own life and you open your heart and you tell other people what you feel and what you're going through and what your thoughts are, people are happy to hear and to learn from you. They don't have no reason to reject your talks because you're not coming to change them and to shake their stability. Just coming to open your heart and to share your feelings and your thoughts that are respectful and allowing them to be their true selves and you're not forcing them to change. Therefore, they don't need to reject you for protecting themselves. May Hashem give us always the right advice to find the right way how to assist others, how to help others to find their own way. And together we can make it toward the great redemption day for us all to be complete and completely corrected in an inner and meaningful way for our vessels to hold the holy godly soul of our maker that treasured a huge godly blessed soul within our physical bodies and may that flame shine and illuminate to all our surroundings the right way how to find the real truth our true maker the creator hashem from within in an inner solid and truthful way eternal way amen can you hear that son